How's it going? Time to cook another meal in the Instant Pot. Tonight we're going to try making chicken and dumplings. This is a very, very simple recipe. Does not take very long at all to make, so we're going to make it right now. So we're going to start out by setting the Instant Pot to um, just normal mode saute. And we're going to put two tablespoons of butter in there. Then we're going to add in two, uh, up to two cups of onions. I, I like a little less onions in mine, so I have a, a little bit less. So, uh, But the recipe calls for two cups of diced yellow onions. And then one teaspoon of poultry seasoning and a half a teaspoon of salt. And we're just going to saute that about six to eight minutes until the onions are soft. Once that's done, we're going to put in a cup each of diced celery and diced carrots. We're going to follow that up with a carton or 32 ounces of chicken broth. We like to use um, no salt. And then we're going to add in about a pound or so of diced chicken breasts with the breast uh, chunks about one inch squared. Then we're going to go ahead and Put the lid on and we're going to set it up for um, high pressure for only two minutes make sure that the valve is closed and after two minutes uh, we're going to immediately vent off the excess pressure and while it's cooking we will have been actually taking a five pack of pillsbury grand um, southern buttermilk biscuits and separating those out into the individual biscuits and then cutting those biscuits into eight pieces. This is what will make the dumplings part of this. Once we've vented the pressure off, we're going to set the Instant Pot to saute mode, just normal. We're going to stir in a half a cup of heavy whipping cream, heat that all to simmering, and then we're going to stir in the biscuit pieces and we're going to cook that four to six minutes, stirring frequently until the dumplings are cooked through and the liquid thickens. And that's it. Once that is all done, it's done and ready to serve. All right, let's go try it out, see what we think. Ooh, that looks delicious. For the record, if you're serving this to your kids, it takes a long time for it to cool off. <laughs> it's very, very hot and retains heat for a long time. Okay. Cracking up about if you serve it to your kids because I have baby mouth. Mmm. Mmm. What'd you get, chicken or dumpling? Chicken and a pea. Oh, nice. Except mm. I didn't put no peas in it. <laughs> Did. No, no. Yes, you did. Well, then some. Oh, celery. Okay. I was like, it's some green old thing. It's really good. Is it? Yes. Is it creamy? Very creamy. I'm looking it up. Is it bland or is it tasty? Tasty. Some people might want it zippier, but I think of this comfort food as kind of on the calmer side. I will say right now, I think I would like it if the chicken were shredded instead of cubed. Okay. Well, we will, uh, we will work on that for next time. This was the way the recipe called for it this time. Um, it's surprisingly mm. light on spices, just the poultry seasoning, some salt and pepper. I just had the, uh, some dumpling. Yeah, how was it? Delicious. It was really done. good. Done? Hmm? Was it done? Mm -hmm. The concern of, of that is that you know, you're boiling a biscuit. It seemed done. Okay. So, yeah, I, I cooked it a little extra long to make sure the biscuits were not underdone because that would be kind of gross. All right, let me try some. Careful. 
Do you see how hot it is? The chicken's really good, really nicely done, um, and moist. You'd think it might be a little dry after all that pressure cooking and everything else, but, um, mmm. Them peas, though. You're making fun of me. Are they, are they peas or are they not? There are no peas. Oh, okay. I need to find a dumpling. Mmm. Mm -hmm. These dumplings are tasty. Nicely done and um, very firm. So one of the things I was worried about is that the dumplings might get, um, might become squishy, squishy or break down or whatever. But they they re retained their their structure, so they were very nicely um, firm. All right. Well, I think we're going to go eat now. As usual, we're starving. Uh, got any last words? Um, it's delicious, and I want to give a shout out to your mom for these fantastic bowls. Oh, nice. Okay. Yeah. Well, with that, we're going to go eat. We'll see you next time. What? I just spilled on myself. Oh, okay. <laughs> Bye now.